Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Edmonds. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Hey friend, it's great to have you tuned into The Morning Show today. Here on The Morning Show, you'll hear your favorite Southern gospel music and some of the classics you'll never forget. And now, the hostess of The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons. When you wake up to the storm and all you feel are the waves crashing against your boat, you wonder if anybody remembers you or the journey that you're on. When you feel discouraged from what you see on the news or the events going on around you, well, friend, cut it off. Don't look to the left or to the right. Look up. And when everything inside of you is screaming to be afraid, to accept defeat, or to hand our enemy a victory, well, you need to sing. And then keep singing. Sing it some more. For we are God's people. And that's just what God's people do. Well, we sing. He said, sing from a laughing heart. to sing when the night is dark. Just sing. Let your joy explode and let music fill the air. God sent on flashing wings to fill the sky with song, with music in the brook and crashing seas. Flowing blue through the threads of grass, like fingers through the strings of golden harps that made the meadows sing. Then he said, sing from a laughing heart to sing when the night is dark as sing. Let your joy explode. Let said, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Then he said, sing, from the laughing heart, just sing, when the night is dark, just sing, let your joy explode and let music fill the air. You can sing, when there's nothing else to do, sing, when something deep inside of you tells you that life is still a wonder, just go back to hell and sing. Then he said, sing, from the laughing heart, just sing, when the night is dark, 
I won't forget the night I stepped out of my pew Walked down the aisle My running days were through I knelt at the altar Just as I am Gave my life to the Father And left a brand new man Now I'm a member Of the lost and found That's the brand new one from Southbound, and we are in love. That one is already a favorite, a member of the Lost and the Found. Y'all have been at the Biblical Times Theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, when Southbound debuted that song for the Southern gospel music industry. It was electric. My name's Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to The Morning Show. It's Wednesday morning, and we have our co-hosting with kids segment today with our buddy Trent Wright. He will be here about 6.40 Central Time this morning. That's not very far away. So it won't be long. We'll be visiting with Trent. Hey, did you know that the easiest way to spread joy is simply to smile? Yeah, just smile at someone, and they will usually smile back at you, even if it's a complete stranger. They'll usually smile. So try smiling more often, especially at people who look sad. Smile at them. Give them a reason to smile, too. It'll make you feel better, and it'll make them feel better. Just make the day better. (laughs) Glad you're listening to the morning show. If you can't tell, I am smiling. (laughs) No place else I'd rather be. 
favorite already on the morning show. You're going to love it. Halfway up the mountain. We have come too far to turn back now. There's an end inside we see. And the Lord has brought us safe thus far with his grace and perfect peace. But too many battles have been lost with the pennies flying inside. So let us keep the faith and win this race before the day turns into night. May 2023 be your best year yet. Gary Casto from Tribute Quartet saying happy first time the other day and I just fell in love with it. As I start this new year, I have made a vow to myself that I'm going to stop running myself crazy over the little things in life. I may be exhausted from taking the kids to practices and games. I may have a sink full of dirty dishes and a pile of laundry that literally reaches the ceiling. But I'm going to slow down and enjoy every minute God gives me with my kids and my husband. There's a line in the song that says, I wouldn't change a minute because I might miss the blessing in it. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to miss a single thing that God has in store for me and my family this year. Just getting started with a good strong cup of coffee Gotta hit the ground running cause there's always something that won't get done without me I got a long list, a full plate of things that just won't wait But I love this crazy mess And Lord knows I've been blessed, what a sweet gift Day. 
goes on and I'm leaving worry far behind me. Count my blessings and love and every second of a good life all around me. It ain't easy all the time. It ain't perfect, but it's mine. I love this crazy mess. And Lord knows I've been blessed. What a sweet gift I've been given. Oh,
music, ministry, and more. It's The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to The Morning Show. And now with your patriotic point of view, here's Larry Gresson. Known as Aunt Jemima from 1889 to 2021, Pearl Milling Company is an American breakfast brand for pancake mix, syrup, and other breakfast food products. The original version of the pancake mix for the brand was developed in 1888 by the Pearl Milling Company and was advertised as the first ready mix cooking product. Aunt Jemima is based on a real woman, Nancy Green, who was a storyteller, cook, and missionary worker. The brand's name, though, is based off a song called Old Aunt Jemima. At the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893, Nancy demonstrated the pancake mix and served thousands of pancakes. Her booth became so popular that special police were assigned to keep the crowds moving. Afterwards, she traveled on promotion tours across the country. Suddenly, pancakes became hugely popular. Nancy stayed in the job until she died in a car crash in 1923. She was given a medal and certificate by fair officials for her performance. Green became one of the first black corporate models in the United States. Subsequent advertising agencies hired dozens of actors to perform the role as the first organized sale promotion campaign. Aunt Jemima is modeled after and has been a famous example of the mammy archetype in the southern United States. Due to the mammy stereotypes, historical ties, and slavery, Quaker Oats announced in June of 2020 that the Aunt Jemima brand would be discontinued to make progress toward racial equality, leading to the Aunt Jemima image being removed by the fourth quarter of 2020 and discontinuation of the name by June of 2021. Aunt Jemima, an American icon. I'm Larry Gressett with your patriotic point of view. The Patriotic Point of View was brought to you by Joe McGee Construction. Joe McGee Construction believes family is one of God's greatest gifts. Family owned and operated for the past 33 years, Joe McGee Construction is the proud employer of some of Mississippi's best tradesmen. Together, we are supporting our communities and working hard to ensure that every commute to work and every ride to school brings us safely home to our loved ones. Valuing faith, family, and the Magnolia State, Joe McGee Construction is building safer roads for a better Mississippi. Joe McGee is my friend, and I thank him for helping us bring you the best mix of Southern Gospel music, along with your patriotic point of view here on The Morning Show. All right, here's the brand new single from Justified. We've been playing it a long time, but it's officially now the new single. And our co-hosting with Kids segment is next. Mr. Trent Wright. Don't miss Trent. If you're taking more than you've been to giving If your life seems a little more lonely every day Turn your back to the life you're leading Turn your back to the voice you're heeding Turn your eyes to the morning star Who loves you 
My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons, and you are listening to The Morning Show. Today is Wednesday, and on Wednesday, well, that's our special day where we have co-hosting with kids. It's our favorite segment of the week, and today we are super excited because I have a new buddy with me here today. His name is Trent Wright with us. Trent is from Decatur, Mississippi. Good morning, Trent. Good morning. Trent, we've been excited about this. I'm glad to be here on The Morning Show. Well, Trent, I am excited because I've seen you on the fake book. I've seen you out there singing. I've had you on the morning show before. We've had you to introduce some songs. We've had you to say a few words. And I'm excited because I know that you are a great speaker. You're a great singer. And I can't wait to dive into all of that today and let all of our listeners meet Trent. I'm excited about it. I'm excited, too. All right, Trent, I want to start and let people get to know you. I told everybody you're eight years old. Where do you go to school? Leak Academy. All right, Leak Academy, that's a good school. It's not far from where we are right now. What grade are you in? I'm in third grade. All right, third grade. Do you have just one teacher in the third grade, or do you have a lot of teachers? I just have one. All right, tell us who it is. Miss Atkins. All right, now, Miss Atkins, are we putting you on the spot, Trent? Because Miss Atkins may be listening. I don't know. But I want to know, do you like Miss Atkins? I do. <laughs> All right. All right. The, the verdict is in. And Trent does like Miss Atkins in the third grade. I bet you are her prize student. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling you are. Trent, what subjects do you like? Talk to me about school. I like math, reading, and spelling. All right. Math, reading, and spelling. What subjects do you not like? Language. Um, language. Mm. Well, he likes them all except language. Language is the only one he doesn't like. I liked, I didn't like a whole lot more than language when I was in school. Science was my big one I didn't like. I didn't understand anything in science. Do you get science? Well, I'm, I... I have a hundred average in science every time Mama looks at at my grades. Golly, I don't think I ever made a hundred in science, Trent, in school. I struggled in science, buddy. See, if you'd have been in my class, you could have helped me. Yep. <laughs> yep, he could have, but you wasn't there. Nope. <laughs> nope, he wasn't there. But I bet you help all your friends in your class. Do they ever ask you for help? Well, my teacher only... At, ask me if we need to if anybody needs help and then we can help them okay well always go by what the teacher says but here's a little something down the road if you ever need a little money for something you know you want to get something you could tutor people because if you've got a hundred in <laughs> size you could tutor people that need a little help make you a little money is that a good idea yep that's a good idea <laughs> And see, your mama, uh, your mama's a teacher. This is a good time to talk about your family because people around here are going to know who your parents are. I want to talk about it. I want people to know who you are. I've been knowing your mama a long, long time. I taught your mom at East Central when she was at East Central Community College. Tell everybody, who's your mom and dad? My dad is Zach Wright, and my mom is Tiffany Wright. All right. Zach and Tiffany Wright, I knew both of them at East Central years and years ago, and they are great, great people. And if you're from our area, you probably remember Tiffany. She was Tiffany Spence. Mike and Angela is Tiffany's parents. Did I get that right? Trent, that's your grandparents, Mike and Angela Spence? Yes, ma'am. See, they're from Decatur. Most people around here, they know, they know the Spences. I do good people, good people. Uh, all right, I want to know about your brothers and sisters because it's not just you. My my brother, he he plays basketball. He's played basketball, he's played football, and he plays basketball. Taylor Wright. Taylor Wright. And Taylor's how old? Eleven. Okay. And my sister, she does gymnastics, and her name is Tally Rose Wright. Tally Rose Wright. Trent, do you know what my daughter's name is? No, ma'am. <laughs> My daughter's name is Tally, too. See, I don't know very many Tallies, but I have a Tally, and y'all have a Tally. Isn't that cool? It is. It is cool. Now, there's something before we play a song. We're, we're fixing to get to a song here, but before we do, I wanted to point out one more thing. Something really special about your dad, and I wanted to point that out today on the morning show. Tell us about what's really special about your daddy. He's a preacher. Your daddy is a preacher, so you're a preacher's kid, right? 
Yes, ma'am. I'm a preacher's kid, too. Trent, we really have a lot in common. We do. <laughs> we do. Look, I want to know how it feels to be a preacher's kid. What it, do you think? It feels good. You like it. You love it, huh? I do love it. You know, I, I nobody can predict the future. I'm not trying to. But <laughs> if y'all could see Trent sitting here, and he's all fixed up, and his hair's on point, it's just right. And he's got the sweetest disposition ever. Trent, I could see you being a preacher one day. I do, too. Uh, so I'm not way off. Trent said he could, too. You've just got that spirit about you. I do. You do. You do. And one day I'll come hear you preach. You can. I will. All right. We'll air it on the morning show. What about that? We will. <laughs> we will. All right. Let's play a song. What's one today that you really like? Because you've got a few picked out. Uh, I'm going to give it mic to you and let you introduce one that you really like, Trent. Here's the triumphant quartet, The Goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up till I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God you have been faithful <laughs> and all my life you have been so so
All right, we are back with our co-hosting with kids segment. Today is a special day on the morning show because we are joined by our new buddy, Mr. Trent Wright. Trent is eight years old. Good morning, Trent. Good morning. All right, Trent, I wanted to talk about something that happened this year. It is now January the 4th, so we are starting a brand new year. And when you look back over 2022, you had, you had a big year this past year. And something really big this spring happened at your school. And I wanted to talk about it because I'm super, super impressed with this and I'm excited by it. It was your first time ever to get up and sing in front of a group of people. And boy, did you ever sing in front of a big, big group. I want to know about that talent show at your school last spring that you participated in. Trent, can you tell us all about that? I sang the song, It Matters to the Master. And it was, and I was, it was my first time singing in front of that many people. So I was I was really nervous. Now, Trent, la this was last spring. What grade were you in last year? I was in second grade. So you're in second grade. You're just in the second grade. You were probably seven at that time? I was. And you get up in front of the whole school and you sang. And you said you were nervous about that. I would have been nervous, too. That takes a lot of courage, doesn't it? It does. How did you feel up there singing? Did you enjoy that? I did enjoy it. Well, what did your friends say about that, Trent? They said that I sang good. Trent, I'm interested in that song that you sang, It Matters to the Master. That's one of my favorite songs. People love that by the Collinsworth family. I'd love to know what made you pick that song. My aunt was diagnosed with cancer around that time. And this song brought our family a lot of comfort. I can see why. I can see why this song would do it for sure. That's pretty deep, Trent. I wish I could have been there at that talent contest and heard you sing. Maybe I can come sing it to you sometime. Well, I want you to. I want you to. I want you to. And today we're going to play it by the Collinsworth family. But I'm going to turn it over to you. And this is the special, special song that Trent sang at his at the talent show at his school. This was the first time that he got up on his own and he got up in front of the whole school. And he sang this song because it was special to him. So I'm going to let you introduce this song and tell us what group it is. Here's basketball. And this weekend's a big weekend. Tell us what's going on this weekend. We have our first basketball game Saturday. Tell me about it. Tell me what you play. I play Upward. At First Baptist in Phil in Philadelphia. All right, so you play upward basketball in Philadelphia, and you got the first game this weekend. Is it your first game ever? Yes. What? First game ever this weekend? Are you nervous about it, son? I am. I'd be nervous too, but I'm not a sports person. You hand me a, a, a basketball, Trent. I'd be lost. Do you know what to do with one? I do. <laughs> you hoping you do? Look, your mom and daddy's going to be there cheering you on. I got a good feeling about it. I got a good feeling about it. I wouldn't know if you did right or if you did wrong. I wouldn't know. But I'd be on your side. What's the name of your team? Do y'all have like a mask? Is there, do y'all name your teams? The Suns. The Suns. I used to watch the Phoenix Suns. Charles Barkley. You don't even know who that is, do you? I used to watch them. Yeah, NBA. I don't know who that is. <laughs> no, son, because you missed that era. You wasn't as fortunate as me. You missed Charles Barkley, and that's terrible. <laughs> you don't get it. Some people listening will get it, though. They'll get it. <laughs> They'll get it, Trent. It's a Charles Barkley joke. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you are not right. Okay. Anyway, he was a good one. We got to do something now. Uh, first of all, I want to give you a few minutes because I feel like I've done most of the talking, and sometimes I can be a little bossy. Is there anything that you want to talk about on the show that I haven't given you time to do? It may be, maybe looking back over the year, something that's happened. Or look, Trent, let's look ahead to 2023. What's something that you would like to do this next year? A goal you've got, something you'd like to see happen. Maybe you've never done it before. What do you want, what do, you want to do in 2023? I just want to keep playing basketball. He going to keep playing basketball. I want to keep singing, and I want to keep singing with my mom. 
Well, I think you ought to. Your mama's been singing a long time. She's a good singer. You're a good little singer, too. And I think you ought to keep singing, Trent. All right, I heard this on the fake book. You can't believe everything you see in here on the fake book, but I, uh, this one, this is a fact. There's no doubt about that. You and your mom sang a beautiful song at your church. I enjoyed hearing it. And I wanted to play a little clip of this on the morning show, if you're okay with it, because I wanted people to hear you sing. You think it'd be all right? It will. You don't mind? I don't mind at all. Tell us about this song. It's called The Word. A Nintendo Switch. I got like a basketball goal, and I got a a glow in the dark basketball. Well, see, you needed all that for your basketball career. I did. Yeah, yeah you got to be practicing on the basketball if you're gonna keep up with Charles Barkley and the Suns. All right, you mentioned that hoverboard. Now, you be careful on that hoverboard. Uh, we nearly killed ourselves. Tate, Tate had one, and my tally fell off of it one time, and I believe she broke her tailbone. My sister tried to get on it, but then we told her no, and then she walked away. Well, she didn't fall? She didn't. Well, she saved her tailbone. Tally broke My tally broke hers. <laughs> yeah. but she didn't ever get back on it. So, But you know how to, you know how to operate it? I do. I knew how to do it before Taylor did it. <laughs> does Taylor have one? He does. We both got one. Wow. All right, well, we're going to play a little tune here, but before we do, you mentioned Taylor. I know it's something special for Taylor today. We cannot finish this and not say something special for your brother. What's special about today? Today's my brother's birthday. Today is the day? Yes, ma'am. How old is Taylor? 11 years old. Will you send him out a happy birthday from the morning show? Happy birthday, Taylor, from everybody at the morning show. Happy birthday to Taylor. Happy birthday. 11 years old today. Well, Trent, we have wished Taylor a happy birthday. We've had a good time on the morning show. Our time's about up, but before we go, we have to do one more thing. Are you ready? My name's Natalie Duncan Emmons. And my name is Trent Wright. And you're listening to... The morning show. Walls are gonna fall
My name's Natalie Duncan Emmons. And my name is Trent Wright. And you're listening to The Morning Show. The co-hosting with kids segment was brought to you by Kara Smith Photography. Do you need some pictures of the family, of the kids? Do you have a wedding coming up, a special event? Kara Smith Photography can take care of all of your photography needs. It's who we use. It's who my family uses. It's who I personally use. So we want you to reach out to Kara Smith. You can find them on Instagram and on the fake book, Kara Smith Photography. You can send a message on there and set you up an appointment to get you some pictures made of you and your family. So thanks to Kara Smith Photography for the co-hosting with Kids Segment. We're glad you're listening this morning to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. You're listening to The Morning Show, and here's your pastor's perspective brought to you today by Brother Doug Payne from Hanger Church, Brandon, Mississippi. Matthew chapter 13, verse 15. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Sandy and I just got back from taking the youth to Winter Extreme. At the conference, they played a video called The Cliff. It begins with a young lady at church where worship has started. All of a sudden, she starts hearing screaming. She goes outside to investigate and finds a line of youth walking off a cliff to a horrific death. She shouts, stop, but they keep marching. She runs back into the church to let everyone know what is happening, but no one cares. The church was all into their dynamic worship and acted as if they didn't care that young people were perishing. We have an old hymn that says, rescue the perishing, care for the dying. We must not lose sight of the reason Christ went to the cross. We are his church. And just as he sacrificed his life for our souls, may we sacrifice ours for those around us. We have a new year, a fresh slate to work with. May God soften our calloused hearts and make us sensitive to the fate of the lost. May we not only hear the cries of the perishing, but willingly rush to their rescue. This is Doug Payne with your pastor's perspective.
If you're looking for grass-fed beef that's USDA certified, look no further than our friends at JNL Farms. JNL Farms raises 100% grass-fed beef with no additives. JNL Farms sells steaks, ribeye, sirloins, New York strip, or any of your favorite steak cuts. They also sell roast, hamburger meat, any kind of specialty beef you want, they can get it done for you. Grass-fed beef is a healthy choice because it's leaner and has significantly lower levels of saturated fat. It's also higher in vitamins and antioxidants. It's simply a healthier choice for your body. So for special pricing or request, pick up locations, you need to call our friend Larry Mathis at JNL Farms at 601-917-8063. That's 601-917-8063. Be good to your heart. Make the healthy choice. Choose delicious, grass-fed beef from JNL Farms. He's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. Jesus, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. I'm in trouble. He's there on the double. Helps me come around. Somebody good friend. He'll go with me to my journey's end. Jesus Christ, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. My sin and my sickness, He has healed them all. For my good, he's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. Jesus, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. He's a mighty good friend. I'm in trouble. He's a mighty good friend. He's there on the double. He's a mighty good friend. When I fall down, he's a mighty good friend. Helps me come around. He's a mighty good friend. He'll go with me to my journey. Christ, my Lord, is a mighty good friend. Today and tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, throughout the endless ages, my Savior will be near. In fair and stormy weather, no matter where I go, we'll always be together. He's the dearest friend I know. He's a mighty good friend. 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 Hey, everybody, this is Scotty Inman, and you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. Grandpa preached from a trailer bed, had pot luck dinner and a Marlboro red, and we'd sing. I saw the light a couple dozen times. We played hide and seek underneath the stars and drank grandma's tea out of mason jars. I didn't need those city lights. It was just our way of life. Well, I was raised on it. It's where I call home. I made my way on it And it's the only thing I know It's in my bones, it's in my blood It's in my roots down in the mud And it's a redneck church choir singing Holy, holy, holy It's in my jeans, it's in my boots It's in the way that spirit moves In a part-time center, I want to be apostle Raised on Southern 
gospel. Four summers for a new used truck Had a first date mixtape All queued up and I shook her daddy's hand And showed him I'm the kind of man That was raised on him And it's the only thing I know It's in my bones, it's in my blood It's in my roots down in the mud And it's a redneck church choir singing Holy, holy, holy Well, I was raised on it. It's where I call home. I made my way on it. And it's the only thing I know. It's in my bones, it's in my blood, it's in my roots down in It's a redneck church choir singing Holy, holy, holy It's in my jeans, it's in my boots It's in the way that spirit moves In a part-time center, I wanna be a apostle Raised on Southern Gospel All right, we have already established very well here on the morning show that I'm not a cook. I don't cook, don't really don't really want to cook. So that's already established, and we know that. But occasionally, I do like to fry bacon, or I want to fry bacon because I like bacon. And I will cook me a biscuit in the oven. I don't make them. Of course, I don't make them. But I buy frozen biscuits. And I will occasionally cook a biscuit in the oven, and I like to put bacon in that biscuit. I just like bacon. And I will try, I will try, I will try to fry bacon because I see other people fry bacon. My husband fries bacon. My mama fried bacon. Jason and Nicole fry bacon. Everybody fries bacon, and they make it look easy. I try to fry bacon, and I either burn the bacon or the bacon is not the texture that I want. I want crispy, crunchy bacon. That's the way I like my bacon. And it seems very difficult for me to fry bacon and get it the texture that I want. It's either burnt or it's not done. And I need a little help. I'm wanting to know how you cook your bacon. Now, there are four ways. I'm looking online and I see four suggested ways to fry or to cook your bacon. Number one, toss the bacon in the oven is what they say. They even say make this your go-to method when you need bacon for a big group and you don't want to bother making multiple batches. They're saying you just lay the bacon on a cookie sheet, a baking sheet. You put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes on 400 degrees, and the bacon comes out perfect. They make it sound awful simple. It's never that simple for me. Do you do that? Do you put your bacon in the oven to cook it? They also say you can microwave your bacon. Using the microwave to cook bacon is just as good as an oven or a fry pan. That's what they say. And they say that the bacon cooks evenly and comes out perfectly crisp. And it's a fast method. It's faster and easier than any other method. When I put my bacon in the microwave, it comes out like rubber. It's too hard to eat. Am I overcooking it? Is that the deal? Number three, you can cook bacon in an air fryer. Now, Tate did get an air fryer for Christmas. We do not have one. I've never used an air fryer. Why would I? Why would I? But Tate did get an air fryer, so that may be something I can try. This says the air fryer method is so much easier to make than stovetop or baking in the oven because it's quick, less messy, and there's no need to preheat the oven. It says 10 minutes at 400 degrees will do the trick for your bacon. I've not tried this. I want to know, can you trust it? 
And of course, the last way is just to fry it in a skillet. I do this. I will put it in a skillet on the stove and I will fry it or I'll put it on a griddle and I, I'll fry it on a griddle. But I'd love to know what works best for you. Is there another way I don't know about or am I just doing something wrong with bacon? Is it easier than I'm making it out to be? 601-616-4066. I would love to know the easiest way you have found to get crunchy, crispy bacon. That's what I'm looking for. Crunchy, crispy bacon. Help a sister out. I sure would appreciate it. 601-616-4066. Notice of this song. It's the three Heath brothers. It's the best song they've ever had. It's called Jesus is Coming Back. Oh, it's good. Ever thought that the world has kind of lost its way? As crazy as it seems, yet I know it's gonna be okay. You see, it doesn't scare me, it's temporary. There's something better we've got forever, and it won't be long because we know our help is on the way. The way to keep your head. Nobody knows the day or time, no, the trumpet's gonna blow and the skies are gonna open wide, open wide, he's coming for us, just like he told us, it's been a long wait, but there's a new day and we're gonna sing hallelujah when the king arrives, hallelujah, keep your head up, Jesus is coming back. going to descend from heaven like a thief in the night. It's time for us to be ready. We don't know the day, and we don't know the hour. All we know is that soon we are going to see the king. So, what about you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? People get ready. talk to you about the good folks over at Hometown Roots in Sebastopol, Mississippi. Big sale going on at Hometown Roots. They have certain items up to 50% off. Men's flannel shirts, kids' flannel shirts, men's t-shirts, boys' t-shirts, your favorite joggers. I've told you about those. I've got the sweatpants, the joggers, 
have even got jeans, jeans and denim pants over at Hometown Roots, and they're all on sale. This is the time that you need to head over there if you've never been. Well, this is your opportunity. And if you're not in the area, well, you simply need to go to the fake book, Hometown Roots Florist and Boutique. They're super easy to find. You can see all of the items you can order online. Kitty Ladner will ship it to you if you'd like to have it. So all of these items are on sale. This is a good time to get it. And I almost forgot, shackets. They do have jackets left at Hometown Roots. So it's not too late to be in fashion for 2023, but you need to go now because with the winter clearance sale, they won't have these items for long. So now's the time, 601-625-7512, or just send them a message on the fake book. They're super easy to find, and it is the place to be. Hometown Roots. We're here to let the world know God's got a song, and it is the song of salvation. Through Jesus Christ and Him alone. And we will sing this song and we will play this song as long as we have breath in these bodies. And then the Lord will give us a new song, a song that only the redeemed can sing. And we will sing that song through all of eternity. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons, and you are listening to to the morning show. We're glad you're listening this morning to the morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. You're listening to the morning show. And now it's time for your happy when you're laughing with your friend and ours, Mark Bishop. This is Mark Bishop and you're happy when you're laughing. You know what tastes just like chicken? Chicken. It seems like whenever we're trying something new to eat and we've never wanted to eat it before, somebody will say, go ahead, it tastes just like chicken. And how come we're not just eating chicken? Every now and then, somebody will start talking about eating rattlesnake or frog legs or alligator, and they'll say, you'll like it, it tastes like chicken. Folks, if it's so good, how come we don't have a restaurant called Kentucky Fried Alligator? That's because nobody wants to eat it. I was trying to tell a joke the other day to my daughter. I said, honey, why did the chicken cross the road? She said, I don't care, Dad. Google it. Just Google it. I said, that's not a question. That's an old joke. She said, well, you ought to know about old jokes. I said, I'm just giving you a taste of your own medicine, honey. She said, well, it tastes like chicken. The comedy segment was brought to you by John G. Weatherford Incorporated. John G. Weatherford Incorporated. Well, they're proud to be connected to the morning show. They're known to most as Weatherford Oil. They're a third-generation owned and operated family business that values God, family, employees, and customers. For over 40 years, they've been providing diesel, gasoline, motor oil, hydraulic fluid, grease, and logging supplies to some of Mississippi's best loggers, farmers, chicken growers, land managers, municipalities, individuals, and convenience stores. Whether you need large or small quantities, well, they'd love the opportunity to talk to you about supplying all of your fuel and oil needs. With two locations, they proudly serve Scott, Lauderdale, Newton, Smith, Neshoba, Jasper, Clark, Kemper, Rankin, and Leak Counties. If you appreciate Weatherford Oil helping to bring you the morning show, well, we would appreciate it if you'd call John at Meridian, 601-693-0981, 601-693-0981, or Jason in Forest, 601-469-3931. That's 601-469-3931. And let them take care of all of your fuel and oil needs. We appreciate them. We appreciate you.
just about time. Joy's gonna come in the morning. engagement rings very soon according to a new survey of 500 gen z respondents now you know who the gen z people are right that's the people under the millennials they are younger than the millennials they had 500 gen z 500 millennials 500 gen xers and 500 baby boomers all of these people they ask are in serious relationships or they are married the majority of those asked 66 percent so they would be fine with giving or receiving an engagement ring that doesn't feature a diamond. Yeah, so they don't have to have that at all. The survey shows that the younger generations are most open to the alternate rings. About 74% of the Gen Z and the millennials, in fact, are totally fine with an engagement ring that is something besides a diamond. And one in five millennials would be open to tying the knot permanently with a tattoo ring rather than a ring that you actually put on and off your finger. They just tattoo it on there. In addition to the tattoos, metal, emeralds, and sapphires top the list at alternative engagement ring focal pieces. So they don't need a diamond. That's what they say. They just don't need it. Nearly three in five respondents would like to be part of choosing the ring from the get-go. So the women now, they say they want to be able to pick out the ring that they want. And one other little tad bit of information is that most people looking to buy a wedding ring or an engagement ring, they usually look at eight different rings before choosing the right one. Hmm. Well, that's completely up to them. Emeralds are pretty, sapphires are pretty, diamonds are pretty, just whatever suits your fancy. But it looks like from the trend that it may not be diamonds, at least not for long and at least not the majority. Maybe a few will still get a diamond, but they may not all get a diamond. Age we're living with, that's the least of our worries, don't you think? Just the least of our worries. But I hope you get what you want. Whatever you want, that's what I hope you get. This road I'm on is straight and narrow, but it leads to a better home. It was laid by Christ one day at Calvary while he suffered all alone. This road may lead over many high mountains and valleys dark and low, but I'll walk each day with sweet. Assurance and safely reach my home. Ahead, ahead, there's joy and gladness and rest for the weary soul. Ahead, ahead, there's peace and contentment. Everybody will be happy and whole. I know that I'll be, I'll be at home with Jesus where tears will never be shed. Though so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. While on this road, I get so weary, and often my feet would stray. But a gentle hand still leads me homeward, helps me find the way as I climb each hill. And cross each valley by his hands I'm daily led But I won't look back, gonna keep on walking For I know what lies ahead Ahead, ahead, there's joy and gladness and 
and rest for the weary soul. Ahead, ahead, there's peace and contentment. Everybody will be happy and whole. I know that I'll be, I'll be at home with Jesus where tears will never be shed. Though so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. Ahead, ahead, there's joy and gladness and rest for the weary soul. Ahead, ahead there's peace and contentment, everybody will be happy and whole. I know that I'll be, I'll be at home with Jesus where tears will never be shed. Though so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. Though so often this road gets rough and rocky, still I know what lies ahead. Surrounded by mountains, a past regret lies a valley of decision. I'll never forget. There is a river that flows through that place. Filled with forgiveness and amazing grace. I knelt on the banks of the river one day, and the flow from the river it washed my sin away. As the crimson red river washed over my soul, I was forgiven and forever made whole. The source of the river starts high on a hill. And flows from the cross where his blood was spilled. Though some deny it, it still flows today to redeem every sinner, wash our sins away. This river of mercy is Jesus' own blood. So run to the river and plunge neath its flood. The source of the river starts high on a hill. And flows from the cross where his blood was spilled. Though some deny it, it still flows today to redeem every sinner and wash our sin away. Every sinner wash our sin away. Well, 
want to say a personal word about Star C Suites catering this morning. Star C Suites is who I use to help me get through the holidays because, you know, I don't cook anything, don't want to cook anything. So I used Star C Suites to help me out a whole lot during the holidays. I had Heather to do me up some of my favorite treats for our family Christmas, and she did a spectacular spectacular job. They were beautiful. They were delicious. And I could not have been any more happy than I was. She sure made my holidays a whole lot easier. She is now taking orders for 2023. Heather can take care of whatever you need. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Star C Sweets, whatever you need this year, I wish you would keep them in mind because they help to bring you the morning show every single day. You can reach Heather Compton, 601-900-0214. That's 601-900-0214. Look her up on the fake book. She's not hard to find. Star C Sweet. Put me down. My family gave up hope. Put me down. A hopeless case, a source of shame known all over town. Put me down, all but one who was different from the rest. Who heard me crying in the night, who saw me blind and gave me sight. Now for a crown.
Special thanks to Trent Wright for spending some time with us co-hosting this show with me today right here on The Morning Show. Tomorrow, Nick Bruno is going to be here. I'm excited about that. You're going to love Nick Bruno. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. been listening to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. We're glad you joined us. We want to invite you back tomorrow when once again you'll hear some of the very best in gospel music and some of the finest in Christian entertainment. Will you join us tomorrow? Is it a date? We'll look for you then. God bless and goodbye, everybody.
Sing it loud so we can remember. Come on, sing it out, sing it loud. 